Hey, hey guys, welcome back. I'm flying the American 3.7 line again. I'm starting off with the A6M2 Japanese plane. Because uh, she is a beauty, man. 20mm cannon. Uh, some nice machine guns. Phenomenal maneuverability. I'm going to try something different now, though. I'm going to try some. Uh, <coughs> sorry, some low level uh, flying rather than where I normally go for the high level. It's uh, slightly different than what I normally do. So I normally look at keeping you know, the higher level of manoeuvrability from literally having height equals energy or speed to dive in. Now I'm just going to do some dogfighting at low levels in a few minutes as you're going to see. Um, obviously I made this video before and I'm doing a voiceover afterwards which I'm finding a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm not sure about yourself but when I've, I've tried to do talking while I'm playing and then there's been a stressful point I'll stop talking and then I'll um, forget about what I've been doing, I'll forget about what I've actually been saying, and I'll come back to it later on, and I've forgotten of where I was. It gets a bit confusing. So I'm going to just look at doing some voiceovers, make it a bit easier. So, this plane, nice steady speed, coming from 2,700 meters, hitting 500 kph. I'm going to try to get onto P63A. Problem is though, you can see the pit speed's picking up. He's at a low speed, so he can actually outturn me a lot easier because I've got so much speed behind me. I'm just going to boom past him. No, I can really do. This chap here, because I'm all in wasted shots, firing too low. I'm going too fast, stuck on him too long. Luckily, got the kill. If one had got the kill, he would have had a perfect angle to shoot me in the arse right there. So I should have really been pulling back out at a high level. Now, chap in front, our guy's already on smoke. Already smoking, he's even. So this guy, I know that he's going to spend a bit more time on the chap in front of the Spitfire. So I'm going to wait until I get to my optimum firing range, which is about 400 meters or here, so I can get some good hits into him. The chap's already on firing range, so there's not much I can really do to save him. We're not cannon shots, so I'm just putting standard shots into him. Quite a few. Now, another issue you're going to get to, when you get this close to a person, look at the where the guns are. They're right in the, the middle of the wings, are they? So, you're trying to hit this target, but my gun's action more or less firing around him or firing the outside of his wings. You've not just set for 400 meters. So you have to think about when you get too close, you're going to do less damage. And one other thing about arcade is kill stealing dicks like that. I was working that guy for about 40 seconds. Doesn't seem long, but it is when you're on a target. And uh, the Wolfman UK and the Typhoon is a complete bell end and storm the kill. This is what makes this sort of game really quite hard because of people who just literally kill steal and it's so frustrating. So, let's see what else we can get onto. Move on from there. <laughs> Whenever you get out of an engagement, you stop fighting. You can see there's no targets around you. Make sure you're checking the radar, top right hand side. And always slap Y, click Y, start reloading straight away. Get ready for the next target. Don't worry so when you get into an engagement, you forgot to reload and you end up where you've only got four or five shots. Always take opportunities to kill ground targets. What do you think of War Thunder? Do you guys like it? Because it is a free to play, but obviously if you want to do things faster, you have to pay for premium. Do you guys pay for premium? Or do you prefer not? Here's squish myself then. I don't mind paying for premium planes or premium tanks when I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. So one kill, that's all I've got so far. Slow trade today. Jumba Wumba, I get knocked down but I get up again. Dup, dup, dup. I was wishing the start game you'd have a bit of fast forward so you can go fast. Something else you'll uh, probably get used to as well is 
the game's good. A lot of time we end up just flying around trying to um, locate a target. It's not always that easy. She always, I don't know about myself, why we turned up the opposite side of the map to where the other hostile planes are. And then as soon as I get towards where one is, he gets killed by one of my friends who steals it. Yay, thank you very much, love you. Such a bad angle on this chap. This guy obviously, I'm flying in a straight line because the gun is not very good. You'll know straight away if you get one shot within the first few seconds, you have to keep banking. This guy can't shoot for shit, so it means he hasn't upgraded his gunners, thankfully. Eliza would have been weaving everywhere and I would have lost it. The only reason I'm keeping nice and straight and true is to be able to catch up to him the best way possible. B-25 is a beautiful aircraft though. Oops, a daisy! Well, you pay for premium aircraft, you can see a lot on the aircraft itself where the paint's been scratched off. I might contact uh, Wild Thunder guys and uh, Gaijin and ask them for a proper paint job. Tight asses. Test, he hasn't closed it. <laughs> Whatever, Ollie. Troll. <laughs> So I've done some quick work here. It's four hostiles, there's only one other blue friend. Three hostiles. Let's see what else we can get. Now I'm a bit a bit blinkered here. The worst thing you can do when you're in engage my kind is there's three hostiles and I'm flying a nice straight flat line. Thankfully the pilot behind me must have gone for an easier target, even though I was flying straight, so I don't know why I did that really. I do enjoy low level flying, just no real scope for it. Is that island map you know, where they, you fly under the, the mountains and such, which is nice. Whoa! Oopsie daisy. Fiddlesticks! <sighs> Slightly too late there. Too big on the target. Always be situational awareness. Always have situational awareness. Even. Now the Air Cobra, good aircraft. Jingles, uh, the mighty Jingles, Bohemian Eagle uh, did a nice review on the Air Cobra. Uh, head over to his channel. Look what he's done in the, the review for the Cobra. It's got some really interesting stats about how the planes performed and didn't really perform very well. Um, that the the 37 mm cannon was like firing, I think it was a pineapple or a pear at a plane because its velocity caused problems for the pilots. And it's a nice aircraft. Overlord, D-Death paintings. Stripes in the wings for D-Death. 650mm cannons, or is it 850mm cannons? 4.7mm. 50 cal, sorry, 50 mil. I do like the IL-2. Not very manoeuvrable, but it flies like a tank. It shoots well. This chap's a lot slower, so what happens if you're going too fast? Always go up and over. Bleed speed. Get back onto him. So I went from 0.2 kilometers to 0.7 within a space of 4 seconds. Got be a nice um, hole on the back of him. Like a chap there, tunnel visioned, totally. Never do that. If you're getting shot at, move. You see the hostile pilot behind me? He's got popped. Now then, head to head. That game is so relaxing. Clever boy. And then he's clipping him more than uh, getting damage. Which killed me. Hmm. 
course it was a good aircraft. Not the same line up I had with the last video. Still a phenomenal aircraft. Good stay that bad boy. Seven kills. I love ground forces to be playing this sort of map, you know. Obviously you can't play with such a large area unless you have more people, but I don't understand why they can't have, say, 100 tanks. Fight 50 versus 50 tanks flying up, uh, fighting all over the map rather than just a small area. I hope that's what they release. Then you'll have 15 planes flying above them against 50 tanks on each side. That would be absolutely brilliant. I didn't say 10, 15 um, anti-aircraft vehicles and you're going over different size the 8.8mm um, .8 German flak guns or the small uh, Bofors, 40mm for the British. What that guy's doing on there? Take Quick that, shot. motherfucker. Yeah, the guy, yeah. This game helps you've got quick reactions and make sure you look for um, obvious choice targets. This aircraft, you can go up close Ooh. and kill people just due to the fact that the guns are so close to the um, fuselage. So spread isn't that bad at shooting at close range compared to an aircraft where it's caught more towards the outside of the, air, the wings. Eight kills and uh, that's just about it really. As you can see, the Reds have just about lost all of their bits and bats. Ooh, 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 ooh. Could have got a kill then, but I didn't. Fluffed it. Oh, what a sausage head. No! Set on fire though. That was badly damaged. Lost me left wing. Boosh. Cue the fat lady. Well, guys, how are you finding this series on War Thunder for the arcade? Um, would you prefer me to be looking at doing some more realism, or just doing some realism, or would you like some more reviews on some of the arcade, um, some of the planes, maybe individual reviews on the, the aircraft, and clip some videos together? And this one here is a premium account, 50k. That's not too bad for a match, is it really? Quite like that. Anyway, guys, take care, sub, like, and let me know what you think. 6k on Beagle Research. Take care now.